In today's class, we will design or realize a full adder using NAND gates only. We know that adder is a combinational circuit which adds binary digits. In our last class on digital electronics, we have seen the truth table and logical circuits of half adder and full adder. We know that half adder is a combinational circuit which performs arithmetic addition of two binary digits. A half adder circuit has two inputs and two outputs. The outputs are called as sum and carry. This is the block diagram of a half adder circuit where A and B are inputs, sum and carry are outputs. Now this is the truth table of a half adder circuit where we can see that when we add 0 and 0, the sum is 0 and carry is also 0. When we add 0 and 1, the sum is 1 and carry is 0. And when we add again 1 and 0, we have just interchanged the positions of 0 and 1 and we are getting sum as 1 and carry as 0 again. And when both the inputs are at logical high level, when they are 1, then in that case sum will be 0 and carry will be 1. Based on this truth table, when we will realize sum and carry, we know the sum will be the ZOR gate between A and B and carry will be basically AND operation between those two inputs A and B. And this is the logical circuit of a half adder where we can see that one of the outputs which is sum, this is basically ZOR operation of the inputs A and B and the other output carry this is the AND operation of the inputs A and B. Full adder is a combinational circuit which performs arithmetic addition of three binary digits. It has three inputs and two outputs again sum and carry and this is the block diagram of a full adder where we can see we have three inputs A, B and C in. This third input CIN could be the output of some other adder. Here we have two outputs sum and carry and sum we can see here is the ZOR operation between all the inputs A, B and C. And this output C out has two operations AND and OR. But the objective of today's class is the realization of full adder using NAND gates. So what we will do if we can represent this C out, this carry output in terms of ZOR gate, then that will help us to realize. So first we will try to do that. So first we have taken these two terms and with BCIN, I am multiplying A plus A bar which we know that that output is 1. And with ACIN, I am multiplying B plus B bar. Now if we simplify further then it will be. So what we can see from here is we have here CIN and with that A bar B. And here we have CIN and then with that AB bar. So if we combine these two terms, then CIN that we can take common and then it will be AB bar and then A bar B. And then other two terms we will have. So this can be written as CIN ZOR between A and B. And then we will have rest two terms. Now we will represent C out using ZOR gate. So AB is the first term that we already had that will remain and this BCIN and ACIN we have represented in this form. So we will replace by that. Now we will combine these two terms and we will apply Boolean algebra. So this will be AB and then we will have 1 plus CIN. Then we will have other terms. So by applying Boolean algebra finally we will have AB only from here. And then the second term which is again A, B, C, I, N. Now again when we will apply Boolean algebra on the first two terms, then we will be getting the A, B only by the same logic that we have applied in the previous step. So from the first two terms, we will have finally A, B only. And then we will have this term. Where first we will have ZOR operation between A, B and then with that result, and operation with CIN. So finally when we will realize a full adder using NAND gates then in place of C out that output 
we will try to implement this expression now this is the truth table of a full adder circuit where we know we have three inputs so there will be total eight combinations and based on that these are the sum values corresponding to each combination and these are the carry values for each combination now this is the full adder circuit where these are the three inputs a b c i n and accordingly we will be getting the final result this is the sum and this is the carry now we will try to implement using nand gates only now first we will see how we can implement a zor gate using nand gate that we have already seen in one of our earlier classes so we know to implement a zor gate or xor gate we need four nand gates and this is the simplification which we are already familiar with now let's come to the realization part so these are sum and carry output in the first stage we will try to implement by using two inputs a and b and we know that by using this four nand gates and by using this connection finally the output that we will be getting that will be zor operation between a and b and now what we can do we can use the similar kind of circuit which we have used to represent a zor in the next stage where one of the inputs will be the output of the first stage means the zor operation between a and b and the second input will be cin which is supposed to be the third input of our full adder so again this will perform as a zor gate and finally the output that we will be getting that will be zor operation between this input so which itself is the zor operation between a and b and then the other input which is cin and that is the sum of a full adder circuit so we can say the final output of this circuit that we will be getting at this point will be the sum output of a full adder now we will see how we can implement the carry output of a full adder by using the same circuit with little bit modification so what is the output at this point here we have nand gate of and we are performing that nand operation between a and b so it will be a b complement and here we are again performing nand operation between two inputs where one of the inputs is zor operation of a and b and the second input is cin so here it will be a zor b and with cin and then complement of that and when we will perform nand operation between these two inputs now we will see what output we can get so we are performing nand operation between a xor b and then c i n and then complement of that so the whole thing is one of the inputs and the second input is a b complement and then we are performing nand on these two inputs so if we simplify further and if we use de morgan's law so it's like x y bar so it will be x bar plus y bar so that means here it will be a or b and then we have and with c i n and then we have this complement means nand operation so that itself is x so we will have x bar and then we will have plus means or and this a b complement itself is our second input which is y so because of this complement or bar we will have another bar here so now when we will simplify further this two bar will cancel each other so finally it will be a x or b and then with that and operation with cin and then from here again these two bars will cancel each other and finally we will have ab and we know this resembles this expression ab plus cin and then zor operation between a and b and that is nothing but the c out or the second output of full adder that means the output of this nand gate will be nothing but c out or the carry output of the full adder circuit so in this whole circuit we can see that by using total 9 nand gates we can implement a full adder circuit 
and implementation or realization of this C out is little bit tricky that we need to remember. So I hope this design of full adder circuit using NAND gates is clear to you. With that hope I end today's class. Thank you.